ABC Weather Lab. Here's Eric's forecast. Just an absolutely fantastic weekend across Acadiana as we had another sun filled day and with very spring like temperatures. Even the ice cream truck decided to come through and pass through my neighborhood. They're gonna enjoy all those people that were outside soaking up that sunshine and hopefully that was one of you as well because it does look like some changes will be moving into the forecast for the upcoming work week. Take a look at the satellite and radar picture across the Pelican State. We can see we had clear skies earlier today, but now we're starting to see some high the mid level clouds working out of East Texas and pushing into the western portions of Louisiana, including Acadiana over towards Lake Charles and now pushing closer to us. But these high clouds are creating a beautiful sunset just a few minutes ago here across Lafayette. But now we're now seeing that sunset here at 540. Through the rest of this evening, we'll begin to see those clouds move through, but temperatures will be not dropping as much as they have been. So a very comfortable evening. 64 degrees is what we got right now with clear skies. But the other important thing is dew points continue to be very low down in the upper 40s. That has allowed for excellent drying conditions all weekend long. So I know a lot of you are starting to suddenly have that grass dry out a little bit. And with a little bit of a southerly breeze, that's also helping. And that should continue for another couple of days as I'm not expecting any real heavy rain to push into Acadiana. The other thing we're going to contend with is areas of patchy fog as we do have some areas that are still wet. So especially over those farm fields and near some of those streams and bayous will have the best chance for the heavier, denser fog. But I will go patchy fog tomorrow morning. You can see visibilities down to about one to two miles. So keep that in mind as you head back to school and work tomorrow morning. Just give yourself maybe a couple extra minutes, especially in those fog prone areas, but it should mix out pretty quickly like it did today. So a cool night in store of temperatures dropping down into the lower 50s. We remain relatively clear, but you do see those clouds starting to work in. So I do think a fair amount of sunshine to start off tomorrow morning, but quickly clouds will be increasing. But with a southerly flow still coming off the Gulf, another warm day as temperatures get into the lower 70s. Then as we push into the evening, the front gets closer to us, but you can see it kind of dies out. Maybe a light drizzle, but I think more or less just another chance for for fog heading into Tuesday morning, but you can see a good bit of clouds will be throughout much of the day on Tuesday. A secondary front moves in during the afternoon. That's what could squeeze out a shower and then a behind behind it eventually starting to see more winter like air return. So on the European model, it shows as that front moves through during the afternoon, maybe a 20% chance for a stray shower during the afternoon, but I do think most of us don't really see a whole lot with it. Behind it, we get breezy and cool as temperatures fall down into the lower 50s coming throughout much of the day on Wednesday. So it will start to feel like winter all throughout the day. But the good news is sunshine will return through much of our Wednesday with highs only in the upper 50s. Heading in the Thursday, clouds start to return a little bit, but we do have times of sunshine, so we'll call it partly cloudy. Not too bad, but another cool day as highs struggle to reach the mid 50s. So a couple cold days for the mid part of the upcoming work week, feeling a little bit more like January. By Friday, clouds really start to thicken, and then by Friday afternoon, that's when we could see an isolated chance for a stray shower. Bulk of the moisture staying back over Texas. It'll be late Friday into Saturday that we finally begin to see that really start to push into our area with this Gulf low moving across the east coast of Texas and then just to the south Louisiana bringing widespread light to moderate showers pretty much throughout our Saturday. So it does look like a pretty rainy Saturday, but rainfall totals only look to be about an inch and that extended out through the entire day. Shouldn't cause too many issues. Clearing out heading into Sunday, maybe a stray shower down around St. Mary Parish to start off. Lots of clouds through the first half of the day, but probably some sunshine moving into the afternoon. So temperatures through the rest of this evening as those clouds start to move over about 10 degrees warmer than where we were last night. We'll go lower 50s to upper 40s through much of Acadiana. So light jacket out the door tomorrow morning. Again, very spring like near 70 degrees with many locations upper 60s with clouds increasing tomorrow afternoon. A very mild start on Tuesday as lows only in the upper 50s to lower 60s. And then as that front is still back off to the north, another nice day with temperatures getting back into the lower 70s. So a warm start to the upcoming work week. Clouds moving in tonight, 50 degrees with that patch of the dense fog developing as we head through the overnight hours into tomorrow morning. So out the door tomorrow as you catch the bus or head into work, we'll call it 51 degrees. Maybe just that light jacket needed with that fog in some locations. And then by the time you pick the kids up tomorrow afternoon, 72 degrees with increasing clouds. That's about 10 degrees above average. So you probably won't need that jacket for the ride home. 
More clouds on Tuesday with that stray shower possible. There you see the temperature drop behind the front. 60 on Wednesday, 50s by Thursday and Friday with rain slowly increasing late Friday. Better chance looks like Saturday could be kind of one of those wet drizzly days pretty much all throughout with temperatures hanging in the 50s for the weekend and then slowly starting to warm back up into next week getting back into the 60s. Looks like it'll be a great weekend. I mean a great week. Yeah, it does look like a warm start, but then a little bit return to January weather by the end. All right.